it's Friday and I have a day off and I never have a day off ever. I usually only take days off for appointments that I have. So anyway, this is going to be very, very random. I hope you all are having a good Friday and I have my Dunkin' Donuts. So my new favorite obsessive drink at Dunkin' Donuts is large iced vanilla bean caramel macchiato. It's like so friggin' delicious and lots of caffeine. So I would highly recommend that. What else? What else? What else? What else? I have my Superboy shirt on today representing. Um, you should totally binge watch Young Justice because right now there's a campaign to try to get um, Young Justice on Netflix the third season. And if enough people care, they'll put it on and like hopefully renew it. And like that would be super amazing because it's a really, it actually is a very, very good cartoon. And okay, so Dirk's, um, I took Dirk yesterday to pick out a birthday card for his dad because Mike's birthday is the fifth. And I always let him pick a card. And I have to show you the card that he picked because I was laughing hysterically. Well, I'm probably not hysterically, I'm being a little dramatic, but it is a pretty funny card. So here's the picture. Looks really super cute, right? If this totally looks like a card that a kid would pick, right? Totally cute puppy, pretty flowers. So on the inside, it says, don't let the cute puppy distract you. It's time to get drunk. <laughs> This is what my four-year-old son picked for his father. And I'm not any better because I picked this. And it says, okay, who's thinking outside the box again? I'm such a dork. Why am I telling you? Hope you're not too pooped to party on your birthday. I'm so dorky. Yeah, we're really super mature in our house. So that's that. So my other thing um, that was just so freaking random, um, so I had a dream last night that I was a teenager, like 16-ish, 16, 17 years old, and I lived in this amazing house, and it was this massively huge house, and it was like, it looked kind of like California outside. Um, but it was sort of like a rolling hill, um, beautiful, huge house, like massive house. And I lived there with my mom and Donald Trump, whom she was married to. <laughs> so random. Okay, so I'm living in this house with Donald Trump, and he like is um, very nice to me. But very like regimented, like the whole house is like run like a business, which I suppose you would expect. So uh, he apparently has decided that he, he's going to make me a model slash actress. And so I had to follow this like regimented routine of how to put makeup on and behave and all of this stuff and like he literally had an itemized list of things I had to do because the following day I was going for my first like audition for something and so there were all these rules like you had to have makeup fresh makeup and this and that so so weird I have the weirdest dreams and so while all of this is going on I'm kind of like wandering around the house and everything and I see somebody hiding in the kitchen and so I lift like up this thing and Batman and some other woman was in there who I think was like Wonder Woman but out of costume. And it was like Bat Batfleck. It was Bat um, Ben Affleck Batman. And I remember being like, Oh my god, Batman, what? Like we like we were friends. And he's like, Oh, we're here because um, Trump is involved in some shady dealings. Shocking. And so Batman was like investigating because you know he is the world's greatest detective. What? Okay, so that happened. He's like, don't let anybody know we're here. We're just heading out right now. So I was like, holy crap, it's Batman. Okay, so then I go downstairs and I'm like going down the, the Trump lair, like 
the lower level is like where he hangs out in his office and all this stuff. So I go down there and it's like all dark and I see my list of rules for the following day that I have to follow for my big audition. And I look over and there's like somebody sitting in a chair in a dark corner by themselves and I'm like, I wonder who that could be. So I go over there and I'm like, Duff? Duff, is that you? It's Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses, okay? He's totally decked out, like old school, like he looked like he looked back in the day. So he had like full leather and like this kind of teased out hair and he's totally hot. So he's sitting in this chair and I go over to him and I kneel down and I'm like, what's wrong? And so he had decided that he was partying too hard, like this was his come to Jesus moment of like he's partying too hard and he needs help. So he's there to get help from Trump, I guess. So random. So I'm like hugging him because I feel sad that he's, you know, going through this. What in the world? What is going on in my brain? That this cast of characters and scenario, look, my neighbor's home. I expect my dog to start barking any second. So what goes on in my brain that this is the dreamland that I inhabit? Batman, Duff McKagan, both super hot, and Trump, who is really dedicated to furthering my career as a model slash actress and married to my mother. So bizarre. So... Yeah, that was an interesting night, and oddly, it was a very fun dream, so I woke up like, wow, that was pretty cool, Batman, Duff, yeah, Duff was hot, yeah, I got a hug from him, so that was pretty, pretty cool, and lived in a, man in a mansion, so what, Trump was nice to me, so as long as he's not running the country, I don't care, um, yeah, so what are your weird dreams that you have, I mean, I have these dreams on the regular, like, I have weird dreams all the time. What are some of your most bizarre dreams? I dream very vividly, like films. Most of my books were inspired by dreams, um, or at least partial segments of dreams. And um, yeah, I love it. I love Dreamland. It's um, one of my favorite things. I kind of think that it's real sometimes. Not last night's dream was not real, but. I feel like sometimes when you have dreams about people that you've never seen ever before, maybe you've slipped into another dimension and your spiritual self is in another dimension and these things really happen but you're in another dimension. Because I, I find it odd that your brain could create a person or a place that it has never ever even remotely seen and for it to be so real to where you wake up the following day and you can still feel it and it's, you know, it's like really intense. And it was just kind of a fun thing to think about. I think about that a lot actually. Time travel, dimensional travel, all that stuff. So anyway, I guess I've rambled on long enough with this pointless um, drivel. It's actually a rare, cloudy, rainy day here in Arizona and I am freaking loving it, especially since I have a day off. So expect another vlog, whatever you want to call it, video later today because I'm going to do that goth tag. Ought to be fun. I will see you all later. Go get your Dunkin' Donuts. I'm trying to get a sponsorship. Just kidding. There's no way in hell that would ever happen. Bye.